Hello everyone. In this series, we are going to build expenses tracker application using MarineStack. That is Node.js, React, MongoDB, and Express. But most importantly, we are going to use Redux Toolkit, which is a modern way to write Redux application. All right. So the only thing I'm wanting to do is to smash the like button, comment, and share. With that being said, let's look at the demo for this project. All right. So let's see what this project includes. Right. So one, we're going to implement what is called deployment. Okay. And then pagination and then authentication and many more cool so i'll provide a link in the description below to test this application all right so let's look at the demo for this so for this project it keeps track your expenses and your income and this project is being sorry this app is being used by two users one the admin and then normal login user right so assuming that this is your company, you want to keep track of your expenses, you can assign a role to a user to, to record all the expenses and your income. So now let's log in as a normal user, right? I already have an account. If you don't have an account, you have to click on sign up. So for the meantime, let's log in because I have an account. When I click on login, see that automatically it pushes me to my profile page and gives me the number of records I've created, my email, and I can click on this one to update. So, hey, Emmanuel3, do you want to update your profile? Let me change this one to, let's say, 4, to see that Emmanuel4 and Emmanuel3 number 4, and update. You see the loading, and there we go. All right, and this one also keeps track of your expenses, how much you have created for your expenses, and you can see here the details of it. We have the number of transactions to records that I have created, Minimum transaction is $45 and the maximum records you have created nine hundred, and then every transaction. The same thing applies to the expenses, right? We have also the number of transactions for the expenses. We have it. And then we also have the minimum, maximum, and the average transactions. Cool. And you have this nice pie, uh, pie chart that tells you the overview of your transaction. All right. So now when I click on view income, this view income is only seen by this user only. So I can see that I have one, two, three, four record. I don't have much data. I'm not able to see the pagination here. Cool. So this, um, what do you call it? The, sorry, the income list is for this user only. So when I go to the profile and then I click on view expenses, you see that I have Two expense that this user has created right and i can create new expense but for now we will come back to that okay so now let's log out and then log register a new user let me call this one um mark and then let me call this one do and the mark make this one mark at gmail.com and my password see loading and then this message will be what redirected soon and of course i have been redirected so let me log in here as mark and then as soon as i click on login let's check the magic it pushed me to my profile and here number of record zero because i have, I have not created any expenses either and you see my transactions all are zero zero right so let me click when i click on view income history you see that no income found when I click on the expenses to no expense found. So I can quickly click this one to create one expense. Let me call this one my feeding. And say feeding for this month. And then the amount, let me call this one 200 and create. You see, I've added this expenses when i go to my profile you see that my expense has been added to 200 so when i add one more expenses whatever anything and then let me call this one for the three you see two when i go to my profile my expense has been added up the same thing applies to the income so let's create one income in a dummy text 
and then like that and then let me go to my profile you see my income 43 I can view my income like that all right so now next is we have an admin account right so this admin account can see all the total records from all the users right so if user A has recorded a thousand income or whatever income the admin can see the total expenses and total income from all the users so let's log out here and try to but before that let me show you one more thing when i try to click on dashboard it says that you are not an admin 404 right so let me log in as an admin account which is uh, provided in the home page like that and i click on that so let's check it out you see for the admin when i click on dashboard i can see all the transactions from all the users right i see total transaction from ben from whatever from whatever and i see the breakdown the minimum number of transactions minimum transaction number of transactions, and every transaction and then my next profit as that and i can also the admin can also all the income list you can see we have a bunch of them you can see that i have pagination here too because we have more than 10 records and i go to expenses tool the same thing one pagination one page so when i click on the next page we see that i have one more this was recorded by mark recently all right so guys this is all what you are going to do in the upcoming video so if you're happy as i am take some coffee and then let's get started